This is just not a normal program. The opportunities here at Northwestern are something unlike any other place that you're going to experience. I think it's a whole different view on sports. The focus is Christ. You're going to be challenged socially, academically, spiritually, and athletically. It's just one of those places where you just feel like you belong. You get to have a life. Be a student first and athlete second. It is going to be something where your faith is going to be challenged. And so we coach biblical football. We coach biblical baseball. If you come out here with an idea that people aren't going to be competitive, then you're, you're ready for a rude awakening. I, I can't see why you wouldn't choose Northwestern. <laughs> Athletics at Northwestern is taken very seriously, and we compete at a high level, and we expect to, to win. The athletics here are definitely very competitive. Just because they're Christian, that doesn't mean that nobody wants to win any less. Because a lot of the, the schools come in, and they think that they can just walk all over us, and then we pull off a win, and then they just kind of go home, and I left to wonder why. Northwestern might be a Christian school, but they don't, they don't play like wimps at all. We've won our conference uh, all-sport trophy for the last five years. Christian athletes are almost more competitive. They just have an extra drive behind them. We've had over 89, 90 academic All-Americans. You think Christian college, you know, wimpy? I kind of had the same idea coming into it, looking at it, thinking, can this be competitive? Over 160 all-conference athletes. It's. Uh, definitely not wimpy, but it's it's actually you're playing at a higher level because you're playing for something more important than yourself. For every game, it's guys, we're playing for something different than they're playing for. Let's show it. I had a friend that was uh, playing football here, and I'd come to a game, and I, I saw something different, something I'd never seen before. You know, I saw players praying, you know, for injured athletes. I saw um, coaches, you know, you know, loving the kids versus, you know, chewing them out and ripping them apart. And In athletics, what we try to do is we try to teach the students to serve the Lord by doing the best they can with the talents that he's given them. One of the ways we like to show our testimony is that we play harder than the other teams. You know, you're both going as hard as you can in football, hitting each other, and then picking each other up. And I think some of the times that we've been the best testimony to other teams is when we've lost and we've been humble enough and open enough to come and pray with another team. We measure success after a, a game or after the season on three basic principles. Number one, did we respect our opponents? Number two, did we honor Christ in our play? And number three, do we win or lose the game? God doesn't really care about the outcome, you know, the winner, the winning and the losing. He cares about your heart. People out here are still out to, to win whatever we can do, but we also, we're all here to display Christ. This Christian college is great, it was great for me to build me up in the faith. Integrating our faith in everything that we do is important. In practices, it's shown by daily devotions, prayer time. It's shown by accountability partners, maybe amongst teammates. At the end of each game, on, on, in almost all of our sports, we either pray or we talk about things, and we invite the other team to be part of it. Whether we win or we lose, we ask teams to pray with us in the center court. And a lot of the times, we still um, lead the prayer, and it's just an opportunity to bless the guys in their effort against you. Yeah, we're here to play basketball, and yeah, it's a lot of fun, and yeah, it's hard when you lose, but ultimately it's about God, and we want to be thankful for the gifts and talents he's given us. It's not about just accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior, it's digging deeper. This is how this relates to life. This is beyond the game. It's been nice to look at the upperclassmen because they set great examples here of um, spirituality and also playing. We really emphasize bringing on board the freshmen who really don't know anybody. I, we have some great mentors on our team that I really look up to and I want to be not only like player-wise developing skills, but also just as a person. When I came here, I didn't know very many people. And when I came on the soccer team, everybody welcomed me. I remember going to the lunchroom and there was a group of guys sitting there eating lunch. And I thought, something's wrong with this picture. I just made so many friends and had such a great experience with the guys. It was a couple juniors and a freshman sitting there eating together. And you just don't see that very often. I just have lifelong friends that I, I would never have met not playing sports. You get to have a life that includes academics, it includes chapel, it includes ministry opportunities, it includes hanging out with the guys or hanging out with girls, it includes life outside of, of this athletic sport. And one of the things we really encourage them to do is to be involved in missions. This spring I got to go down to Rio Bravo, Mexico and I got to play soccer with um, some kids at an orphanage and that, that really touched my heart because soccer gave me something where I could reach out and connect with these kids. And most recently we've taken teams to China, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Honduras, 
to compete, but also to evangelize. Those are ways that uh, we connect with our athletes beyond just, you know, the athletic numbers. Hey, come in, run, and you're done. The amount of time that our coaches pour into us. Coaches and the professors almost become uh, life mentors to you. Our faculty is very supportive of our athletic program, and therefore students will come out to a game and they'll see faculty members there, they'll interact there and they'll begin to feel like, hey, I'm part of a family. You get a higher level of education from a biblical background. You really learn to see God in everything that you do in your schoolwork. First of all, don't choose Northwestern because we have a good team or a good coach. Choose this school because this is the very best school for you to get your education, to grow spiritually. And then while you're here as a student, we want you to be involved in athletics. I've changed a lot since uh, coming here as an athlete. You know, we challenge our players all the time to be a witness, no matter what the circumstances. The dimension that athletics are looked at here, um, the devotionals that we participate in, the, the coaching staff that we have here, just the fact that God is included in all that we do. And the things you learned uh, on the fields of play and in the classroom will be something that we will take with you for life. There's something different about those Northwestern athletes. It's not about us. It's about our witness in giving the focus to Him. You'll find yourself moved by so many other players here that are focused on the Lord first and their sport second. What is it that they have that makes them smile and enjoy life and enjoy the game as much as they do and to do it with such intensity and love that you can't help but notice that there's something different about them. You know, God wants my best, and so if I give Him my best, no matter what the outcome, God's going to be pleased. This is a special place, and it's special because everything we do is committed to Him for His honor and for His glory.